Welcome, so in this video, we'll be answering this question right here. It says, by calculating the value of x, determine the area of the kite. All right, so the first thing I need to do is calculate the value of x. And as you can see here, I have 3x plus 2, which is this line right here, and then x plus 6, which is this line right here. Now, the big thing that you need to recognize immediately is that this right here, and I might even do this in different colors, this length right here, and this length right here, they're equal. So what I can say is this. I can say that 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2, is equal to x plus 6. And the reason why I know they're equal is that's simply just a property of kites. I know that the length here is equal to the length there. It's just something we know about kites. Now I'm going to solve this for x. So this is where a bit of rearranging comes into play. Remember, the aim of the game is to get x by itself. So there are multiple different ways to do this, but I might start by subtracting x from both sides. And that means I would get uh, 2x on this side plus 2 is equal to 6. And then uh, I might want to get rid of this 2 next. So the next thing I'll do is I'll subtract 2 from both sides. And that means I'll get uh, 2x is equal to 4. And then the last thing that I'll do to get x by itself is divide both sides by 2. And that will leave me with x is equal to 2. Okay, so I've done the first part of this question, determine the value of x. Now it says find the area of the kite. This is where we need to remember the formula for the area of a kite. If we can think of a kite for a second, remember that is an ugly looking kite, but let's just pretend it looks good. Remember the way that we find the area of a kite is we take this length here, which we'll call x, and then we take the height of the kite, which we'll call y, and we go a half times x times y. That's the area of a kite. Half times this length times this length. Okay, so what is this length going to be? Well, if x is going to be equal to 2, what I can do is, let's say, let x be equal to 2. Now, if I have 3x plus 2 plus yeah, let's keep it going. X plus six. So I'm plussing together this side and this side, but I'm going to let X be equal to two. So I'm going to put two here, plus two, plus two, plus six. Three times two is, uh, three times two is six, plus two is eight. Oh, I just had a brain fade for a moment. Two plus six is eight. And that really proves something to us, right? This side is eight and this side is eight. And we knew that had to be true. Both of these sides had to be equal in value. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. So that means, as we come up here, this x length is going to be 16. Um, now, what is my y length going to be? My y length here is going to be 5. And then I'm going to times that by a half. So I'm going to end up with uh, let me write this in nicely, 1 over 2 times 16 times 5. And my answer will be 40. So my area is equal to 40 meters squared. And that's it. That's how you do this question. Um, hopefully that made sense on how to approach it. Uh, your answer is 40 meters squared. So you just need to figure out uh, the length here times it with a height times it by y times it by a half and that's it hopefully this made sense hopefully you feel comfortable with this question and make sure you reach out if you need any extra help see ya